Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vlog, and today we are going to be reviewing my new Mandalorian helmet. I say new, I've had it for a little while now, I've had it for maybe just under a month I think now, and um, it's, been, it's been really really good, and I know my uploads have been quite slow, I've been very busy lately, just got back from my gold DV about a week or two ago, and um, yeah... It's been really warm, I shaved my head, and if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to see more uploads from me. Now, let's dive straight into this helmet, because it is so cool. Okay, so this is the box. I did keep the box, but yeah, it is a little bit banged up, because obviously, I've, as I said, I've already opened it. I've put the helmet together, and it's a bit banged up. It's got the Hasbro logo there. Obviously, it's the Black Series Mandalorian helmet, and it is a very nice helmet at that. And it is on this side, I quite like this, because it... It does tell you what it does, and obviously it's got a little torch on it that you have to stick batteries in and install. And as I said, the the box is quite banged up because I've already put it together. I've already worn this, so inside you get a little, oops, sorry, other way around. You get this thing, which I believe tells you, yeah, it tells you how to install things and basically just put it together and you got to... Just put it to your head. That took me about 20 minutes because I have a pretty big head. And uh, this piece is... What's that piece? Oh, okay. So, sorry. So, this pat piece is... Let me get the helmet out. So, that piece was on there, just like that. Kind of like the other side. But I took it off because I wanted to have the torch on it. Now, overall, the helmet looks lovely. As you can see on the inside, we'll go into that in a moment. It's got the uh, internal lights and stuff. Got the torch, obviously, there. And inside, the detail. You can tell they put a lot of thought into this. There's a lot of work that's gone into this. Now, we've got some internal lights here, which, when it gets dark, I tell you what, it is lovely with the lights in here. Uh, in on the internal side of the helmet and obviously you've got buttons here which can make the lights do different things I've, I've still not fully figured out about the um uh the buttons i still need to do a bit more research on that but i know one of them does turn the light on like i think i have to have my head in there because it only ever works when i put my head in the helmet but if you hold it down i think it does turn the internal ones there you go if you hold it down it turns them off so I'll stick the helmet on and show you guys what it looks like actually on a person. So I'm not too sure how much you guys will be able to hear me right now, but what I love about this helmet is that I can see quite clearly from just basically outwards and a little bit to the side down here. You can't really see anything out here, but that's obviously a given. Obviously, you can look about the mobility on it is quite nice. But one thing you do need to be aware of, especially if you're wearing this out at maybe like a children's party or something, they can still see your mouth. So if a child annoys you, don't be swearing at them. <laughs> That's what one thing the guy said to me in the shop as well. He definitely warned me that, and I'm glad I knew that, because trust me. Oh dear, but as you can see, when I press the buttons now, the torch turns on. The torch is... I, I love the, the torch. I definitely recommend putting the torch on. A lot of people... Some people do keep it off, because they say it's a bit chunky, and it makes the helmet look a bit more weird but i i prefer the torch actually attached to the helmet i do like it and uh honestly it is just it is just a beautiful helmet all together i do love it i've got a real soft spot for the mandalorian as well it's definitely one of my favorite series if you haven't watched it go and watch it oh yeah that's pretty much everything i think there is to show you about the helmet this wasn't a in-depth look into the helmet and putting it together and how to assemble it and bits like that there are many many other channels and videos that you can look at to help you with that this was just my opinion on the helmet and how it's been for me after a little while of having it and i can safely say i love it just as much as when i got it and if you have seen my last video about abba you'll know that if you haven't gathered already this is the expensive item i bought i bought it from mankind in london and it is it is worth it honestly it, it was definitely worth the buy it was it was worth the money and um, I'm definitely going to buy a few more stuff from there, helmet-wise. I think they had a nice Spider-Man one where the eyes uh, moved about, and I thought that was quite cool. Um, maybe, maybe get that. They had a Thor hammer, which looked really cool, Captain America shield. They had a lot of Marvel stuff and bits like that, 
and uh, yeah, I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm tempted to say the least. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like and tell me what you thought in the comments. And hopefully see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.